Welcome. We are here to celebrate Pride Toronto 2016. Celebrating Pride together with our friends and allies is more important this year than ever before. The LGBTQ community was devastated last week with the loss of many lives. Innocent lives lost to hate. Over the coming week, let's remember that our great city of Toronto is stronger and more vibrant because of our diversity. And because we are welcoming, accepting, and loving. Let's make sure it is always this way. Together we can create a better world for tomorrow. My name is Antoine Hashim, president of Inspired Media, publishers of the Big Pages directory, Big Play Mags, and the Buzz magazine, producers of On the Couch, the leaders of LGBTQ Media. This is a historical and first of its kind business networking event for Pride. And we plan on having it as an annual celebration. The event came together as a partnership of great organizations. These organizations are Toronto Region Board of Trade, Ontario Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, Canadian Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, and Inspired Media, in collaboration with the wonderful Berkeley Events and Ber Berkeley Bicycle Club. If I can have a representative from each of those organizations come up and join me, so we can wish everybody a happy pride. Hey, hey, Berkeley, there you are. All right. CGLCC, uh, Canadian Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, Toronto Region Board of Trade, Inspired Media, Ontario Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, and Berkeley Events. And happy Pride, everyone! We are honored to have a very special guest with us this evening who also would love to wish you a happy Pride. Please welcome, born and raised in Hamilton, Ontario, Ms. Andrea Horwath has been a community and political leader for over 20 years. First as a community organizer, then city councillor, member of provincial parliament, and now as the leader of Ontario NDP. Welcome. place to be so all of you can go and invest in Hamilton and uh, really help Hamilton become even cooler and I, I would like to say that I take some credit for Hamilton being so cool I used to be on City Council there as well and uh, made some changes that have really uh, embraced uh, the business community particularly uh, and the arts community and the LGBTQ community so our city uh, over down the QEW uh, is uh, welcoming you all there calling you all there uh, but look at I, I do want to echo Antoine's remarks about uh, what happened in Orlando there is no doubt that, uh, that this month we're celebrating all of the uh, accomplishments that we've had all of the, the distance that we've come uh, we had the apology that the police made the other day those things are fantastic but because of uh, of what happened in Orlando, we need to remember that, of course, we're not where we need to be at all. There's no end, unfortunately, to the struggle. And so we need to continue to work in solidarity. We need to continue to work with each other. We need to continue to acknowledge and to commit and to always talk about the fact that you love who you love. And that Ooh. that is okay, and that is the right thing to do, and that is what we all believe in. And so as we go through these next uh, couple of weeks, through the rest of the, the Pride uh, celebrations, uh, I want to say that on behalf of the NDP in this, uh, in this province, we are proud of having walked shoulder to shoulder, jowl to jowl, with the LGBTQ community over many decades. Uh, Sherry Denovar, our MPP for Parkdale High Park, was here earlier. She's uh, had to go to another event, uh, but you know she's the only critic that actually, actually officially is a critic in the legislature for LGB LGBTQ issues. And I did that on purpose uh, because, as you know, she has been someone who has 
you've been pushing and pushing and pushing on many, many fronts. And whether it's Toby's law or whether it's uh, uh, whether it's Syed Ruby's law that is now currently apparently getting some uh, really important movements. Apparently, there's a big announcement coming uh, in terms of the court case. There, uh, the bottom line is, unless we're working at the community level. Having been an organizer, I know how important that is. We also need to be working at the political level, and I'm proud of what New Democrats have been able to do with the LGBTQ community in that regard. And so on that note, congratulations, Antoine, on a fantastic initial event. Uh, and thank you all for uh, giving a few minutes of uh, attention to me. Have a fantastic ride. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. It is my pleasure now to introduce our speaker for the evening, Bruce Mayhew from Bruce Mayhew Consulting. Bruce stays busy tra writing, training, coaching, and speaking at conferences in Canada, USA, and the UK. Bruce has a passion for helping clients restore their sense of balance, achieve their goals, and find fulfillment and meaning. Help me please welcome Bruce Mayhew. Hi everybody, um, I, this is a, a really interesting thing to be here at, at, at Pride, talking to all of you guys. Uh, I know that there's a lot of issues that are out there and that you're probably not here to listen to me, that you're probably here to talk to a lot of each of you. So what I'm hoping this happens here today with what I'm about to talk about is that it sparks a little bit of a, of a conversation within you that you go off and with everybody else within this uh, this event, that you talk to each other about something that I've talked about tonight. Uh, Antoine asked me to talk to you guys about leadership, and leadership is a big, 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 big topic. Um, so I could talk all day long about this. I do training sessions all day long around leadership, but what I really want to talk to you guys about is leadership and generational differences, because if you just look at this crowd, there's a huge, flux in generational differences. You have millennials, Gen Xers, and boomers that are all sitting here, but you also have a very diverse community, which is really special to the uh, to, to the GTA, the GTHA. Uh, we have a very diverse community. When you look at leadership, leadership has to be very specific for the audience that you're dealing with. We're going to do a raffle draw. So, um, let's start. Would you mind? You know, you make one person happy and everybody else mad when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good political thing to do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and Sylvia? I think he Everyone, this is Mark Lalonde from the Affiliate Event Program at Pride Toronto. I think he took the next class. <laughs> Uh, speaker Bruce Mayhew, performers Donna Rama and Ryan Boa, who's going to be performing at 8.15. DJ Sam Stephesius for the lovely music. Uh, presidential Gourmet for the food here. Uh, who else? Uh, door prizes by Healthy Planet, Rosar Morrison, uh, and the Reading Salon. For, oh, whoops, I forgot those. Uh, we got a pair of tickets for the Reading Salon, and I'll get you that. Just one more. The is a play about the bathhouse rings playing at Buddies and Bedtime next Wednesday. Uh, sure. Yes. Oh. Yes. Claudia. Claudia, 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 there. All right. All right. I will get you your ticket in a second. So, just remember to get the tickets to that. Okay, cool. Uh, and of course, a big uh, thank you to the lovely pink lady strolling table at the front provided by Linda Goo Enterprises. And thank you to Berkeley Events, and thank you everyone for being here, and happy Pride.